as a business owner, you get a lot of advice. You get people coming from all directions telling you what you should do online. Should you do paid search? Should you do social media? Should you do a blogging? Well, at the end of the day, you have to make some critical decisions about what you're going to do. And this is hard because we're not experts in these spaces, right? We're not experts in SEO. We're not experts in paid. We're not experts in social. Maybe you think social's more for the kids and not for you or your business. And in and, and most cases, we don't know. But as part of following me and my YouTube channel and the things that I'm recommending in my videos, hopefully it will let you understand what level of involvement as an owner in your business do you need to have and then what can you give to your team or outside vendors. So when we talk about social media specifically, I get a lot of eye rolls. And the number one thing I hear from clients is, we don't get business that way. Or my other favorite one is, I got a guy for that. And typically that means that I don't want to deal with it, I gave it to someone else, so it's not effective at all. Or I'm not willing to go outside of my comfort zone and do something that feels uncomfortable. They have a, you have a, maybe they have an assumption that only social media is for the kiddos. It has nothing to do with my construction company. It has nothing to do with my manufacturing company. And here's the, here's the news is that Google is looking for thought leaders. Remember, Google was founded by indexing professorship content at the Stanford campus. Stanford. So th these guys are on their A game. Now what a professor must do is create content, right? That's the website. Then they have to do ongoing research. That's the blog. That's connected to an RSS feed. So that means you are current in your history. You know what's going on. You are on trend with what's happening in your field. That's the blog. And then your peer validation is social. Do I like it? Do I subscribe to it? Do I follow it? Do I comment on it? That is the peer validation that what you're writing is actually good and true. So it's not about just doing a website and walking away. It's about how, how is your digital presence created to show you as an expert in your space? And let's face it, we get pulled a thousand different directions as business owners. I get it. And you're like, I don't have time to deal with social. I got, I got a business to run. Well, the problem is that when, it, when you spend six months worth of revenue on it and it's not doing anything better than the day that you started, now you've lost all that money out of your account because someone told you you should do it. So with social media, first of all, if findability is something you want, SEO and rank, you must do social media because remember, that's the peer validation. If you feel like it's not relevant to you, I want you to check in with yourself and say, is it because I feel uncomfortable with it or is it because I don't think my clients are comfortable with it? Oftentimes what I hear is when people don't socially engage, they don't engage because they don't like it personally. It doesn't have anything to do with what their outside audience looking in is doing. So don't make an assumption that people not, we're not gonna get business on Twitter, we're not gonna get business on Instagram. Why should we do Instagram stories? Because you are on your A-game. An A-game professor does it all, and they do it well. So if you have a lack of strategy, you have a lack of results, you're not seeing what you need to see in social media, probably it's because you were too hands off. Too hands off. Or you gave it to the youngest person in the company because they're wicked good in Snapchat. That's also not a good way to farm out your social media either. And I see this over and time, over and over again, they give it to the youngest person in the office because they think they're the most socially, socially savvy, or they hire some, uh, some team and they write a check every single month and the team sends a report back and you think, hey, look, I'm doing it, I'm socializing, but you don't see any actual return from it. So remember, make sure that you are doing it for the right reasons and that you understand why you're doing it. And it has nothing to do with your personal habits or behaviors. If you don't go on Facebook, you don't go on Twitter, you don't go on LinkedIn, I don't care. I don't care what you do. I care about what your prospect might do. So what's important about that is we don't want to stand in judgment of a specific social media site. Maybe you don't tweet, but Twitter still has a massive audience. Instagram, it's not just for polish and makeup. Okay, so you have to be everywhere that your customer might be. So you'll have a Facebook, you will have a Twitter, a LinkedIn, an Instagram, a YouTube, you will have them all. Remember, the center of your universe is a blog. Blogs have great content and some really cool images in it. You just take that one blog and share it to all the social sites, you're done. So don't, don't create content for each individual site 
Take one piece of content like your blog or a video and then repurpose it like crazy out to all the social sites. Now, what I want you to focus on as a leader in your business or as an entrepreneur, your job is to focus on that one piece of content on the blog, okay? And then you can give that away to someone in-house or someone externally and say, take this piece of content and now share it in all the respective formats. You can't let your hands off the wheel. Social media, I get it. I get a lot of eye rolls around social media. I get a lot of people kind of shaking their head that it doesn't apply to me. But remember, Google is looking for thought leaders, professors on their A-game. If you want your website to be found, you will socialize. If you want your website to be found, you will blog because that's what professors do. So let's get on the social media bandwagon. Yes, your clients are on there. You just got to go and find them. Comment below if you have any questions or frustrations or concerns. I watch these comments. So make sure to write what your questions are and I will get right back to you. Or just send me an email, heather at findability.com. And let's get you socialized so you get the credibility and the trust from Google to connect with your next perfect customer.